got a conveyor system going. Oh. One fills up, I put the lid on. Get another one ready. It's a bit tricky when you're holding a camera. There we go. See, we've got Roy with us, but he's on the lead. He's on a lead, he keeps looking down there wistfully, although I think he's probably relieved that he's tethered and uh, probably a mixture of desire but also trauma when he remembers back. And then, uh, so we're just going to carry these back up now. going to be seeing our Michael, the stru our structural engineer, this afternoon. We've got an appointment to go and see him. Just keeping an eye on Roy there. I'll call him back in a moment. Um, and we'll just be talking about moving on to the next stage of the build, which will be getting the building plans. We've had the plans that have pretty much been passed in planning permission. It was just, there was a delay about the septic tank which now seems to be, um, be, will be approved. Just had to have something done to that. And we'll also, yeah, just be talking about the next plans, which will be the technical build plans. And also discussing the, um, some grants that we might be able to get. Five coming back. Come on then. Can you get across there? Come on, Ray. That's it. Delay. Mm -hmm. It's because when they get this and they 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 issue it. Mm. Um, in a nutshell, they have three choices. Okay, at this point, they can refuse it with reasons. Mm -hmm. They can seek further information. Mm. Which they have to. Yeah, mm -hmm. or they can grant it with conditions, mm -hmm. given the notification of decision. Uh, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. they ask for further information, so we yeah. six months to put this yeah. in. So we just got this in now, and then there's a few weeks delay for them to make this decision. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if they give us the notification of decision, so we're rent, kind of back at week eight now. Yeah, right. Mm. So that period there is just kind of dead uh, period. Uh, yeah, as such. Yeah, yeah. So when we get this. This will automatically come. Right. And your five year yeah. starts. I see, yes. From that? From that period. Five years from that date. Not from the initial no, 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 12 no, no, weeks start. No, 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 no. Right, right, no. Mm -hmm. Five years starts there. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. Okay, because mm -hmm. it's not granted. It's only when it's granted. Yes, yes. 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 Okay? yes. of course. Okay, and attached to that will be conditions. So the biggest concern in relation to planning is the septic tank, the percolation area, because without that the build can't go ahead. No, and the planning officer did come in November and it was raining and raining and raining in November and the hole, the test pit they dug, was actually filling up with water while he was there rather than draining away. So, so they he, gave he an he extension, to, didn't to say, I, I can't, I'll, 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 I'll come back when it's... I have to come back and yeah. inspect it again when it's, it's dry drier. to prove that it's draining away. So they gave six months, was it? It gives us six months extension from the end of February to yeah. the end of July. Yeah. And so we had a lovely dry... We had, well... May. A nice, lovely dry May. In June. Lovely, dryish June on record. <laughs> and we when did it come? All of that. When, <laughs> and then it started raining. July. The first week of July. And you can check the records. It's the, the worst for rainfall that rain Ireland has ever rain known. And, rain. and everyone would say, we've never had it this way. Yeah. So and we were worried. So, um, if it doesn't pass, uh, what's the plan B? <laughs> there is no plan B. <laughs> uh, we'd have to just um, not extend, you know, and, and live in it as it is. So, um, well, I mean, they might make some sort of recommendation or something, but yeah. this stage is a worry. We've got our fingers crossed. I decided to climb up this banking onto, this is all the, uh, all the chippings from, from when they felled the trees, which I'll just compost down over time. 
And then we can now see, because we're higher up, see how much higher up there's a caravan over there. We can see this field. So this is all our land, isn't it? Up to the trees. Yeah. Up to the trees, all the way to the trees there, this field. All the way along. And what, and how, where is it down to there, to that, well, that hedge? Well, not quite all the way to the trees. No, it's over that hedge. Oh, over the hedge. So if you see that it's hedge. It's up to that other sort of boundary that runs. It's, left um, to right there is a boundary there. in front of the trees at the other side of that hedge. It's also ours. But what, what I'm really showing you up here is this view from of the house. So we get an idea now of the new design where there'll be kind of a duplicate building. You get the sense of where the sun comes on the evening. What time is it now? About half past five. So you can see the sun shining on the roof there from that side. So there'll be a duplicate building and we'll get sun in the evening at the far end. At the gable end of the second building there'll be a big window. Now you can see that copse of trees there we were just discussing about whether they stay. I really fought for being able to keep, well we both did didn't we, wanting to keep the trees because we felled so many. So we'll keep them certainly to begin with. Um, it might be a good windbreak there. Yeah. It'd be a good windbreak and it'll just, uh, you know, it be like a mural, a living mural that we'll look out uh, onto from that window at the gable end. It, it'll be a, a full length window. And then there'll be another full length window at this end where you'll get sunshine in the morning. We'll probably have that like a terrace, wouldn't we, or something? Just terrace it out, decking or something. But all those, all those decisions to be made in the future. And then with that, we'll look out over here. It's going to be flattened, isn't it? So it's going to be flattened. So we'll have that view from that um, gable end. So I realise that these stakes are here that. Sid and Noel put in the other day to kind of um, plot out the the new build and so just tell me again this is actually the <laughs> this is outside in the new in the, the second that's the walkthrough this is, well this is no this this here where I am here probably yeah would be the uh, pump house the, not the pump house but where the utility room the ut no not necessarily the utility room either it's the room where the water tank yeah. and the all the gubbins for the heat okay. pump will go. Yeah, yeah. So all that kind of thing. Yeah. Right? Okay. So at the end of that room, there'll be some double doors, probably about here. Oh, yes, yeah. And which you walk th through into a corridor here. Yes. And then you come through into here. Into the new build. And this, this, this is the whole new build here. Well, that's the new build as well, but this is the whole... So this one here is the far end of that new That's build. The so this will be the kitchen. This stake here, and this stake here, is where oh, the, big, the, other stake up there. the big sliding doors go here. Yeah, because this will all be flattened. All of this will be flattened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's a look. In a morning, when we open our, That's the day our doors, got we've got the sun. And we'll be able to look out. We're keeping those trees here. So that'll be pretty, but we will get the sun. Yeah, and then if you walk over to where the other... Well, you're in the kitchen here. Yeah. And the, the, the boundary is up here, isn't it, along there? All that, all from that stake there to that stake About over there. About here, this will be the boundary. The stake over there, look. Oh yeah, over to this stake. So I'll just walk it now. Yeah. This is the end there, the corner of the That's new That's the room. other corner. Between that stake and that stake, you see there? Can you see it? Yeah. So that will actually, this will be then the far end where we'll have another set area. of doors, exactly the same. Another, again, double full length doors. So this is where we'll get the sun in the evening. Yeah. And we'll have like a little, what we're having out here, like decking to sit out, seating area to sit out in the evening. Yeah. We'll see because we are quite close to those trees. That's yeah. That's that yeah. may be an issue later. It might be an issue, but I, I really like them. Here is bathroom. Okay, yeah. And here is the utility room. Ah, I see. The, I the see. Bedroom to the far end. And then the, all, all the front of the old, the existing the whole, house. The three bedrooms along the front there. Will be bedrooms. But when I said the old then, I'm actually mistaken because this is classed in a way as, as the newer. This is only 1936, something like that, 35, 36. 
and over here that we've just plotted out which we didn't know and I don't think the structural engineer knew when he let it put the plans up that that but Willie's told us whose mother was born here that that was the old house and it was a thatched cottage so we are actually reusing the existing footprint print of a dwelling so for the people who have commented about places having a soul having an energy um, we are actually intuitively I don't know Michael wouldn't have realized it but as soon as we saw the plans we thought actually yeah we like that and maybe the house was just asking for that you know because this is where it originally was as a dwelling and we'll be reusing it that way all here at the end there and you're looking out onto that it'll be kind of like just decorative you know like people sometimes have murals of landscapes or trees or jungles or whatever forests and stuff so that it, they feel that they're experiencing that in their living room we'll, we'll kind of have that naturally so I don't want them to go really 